All right, so today we have a everyday current foundation routine. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation, but I do think that that and my Benefit Professional was causing me to majorly break out. So since then, I've kind of been just experimenting with different foundations and seeing what works with my skin tone and just with what I like. I have finally found a combination that I am super excited about. It's one of those things where I feel like it actually looks better as the day goes on. I put on my makeup at 6.30 in the morning every day for work, and when I get home around like 8 o'clock, it is still looking good. Like. I could go out if I wanted to. So this is a super long lasting, full coverage foundation routine. My foundation routine will work for people who don't have fair skin, obviously in different shades, but if you have fair skin, you know that the struggle is real. Find your foundation that actually matches your neck. So that's why this is directed towards pale skin people. If you do not have pale skin, this will also work for you. Just buy a different shade. I am super excited that this is a collab with my friend Joe here on YouTube. He is also going to be doing a everyday foundation routine for fair skin. Joe has some awesome, awesome tutorials. He's insanely talented. He does these like crazy transformations that are just incredible. So if you want to learn a thing or two from him, I'll leave his channel down below and you should go check it out and subscribe. If you want to see what I've been putting on my face, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Bring him back the leopard robe. Comment down below if you've been with me that long. I used to do leopard robe vlogs. Leave them down below. Love this thing. I wish it was acceptable to just wear a leopard robe every single day outside. Okay, so what I've been doing to prime my face is obviously I've already washed it and moisturized. To moisturize, I use the, what is it even called? The Body Shop Tea Tree Gel Moisturizer. I'll leave it down below. And then to prime, I've been using the Revlon Anti-Shine Prime Balm thing. I actually really like this stuff has a super cool consistency. This is new at the drugstore. I used this in the previous shadow schmooze and mentioned it in the drugstore haul. Picked up the Mario Badescu Rose Water. A lot of you guys recommended this as a makeup setting spray. I've actually been using it as a primer before. Something about setting my makeup with like water, I don't know. I can't do it, but I've been using this after the balm stuff to just kind of like prime all over my face and I really like it. It leaves your face with like really nice, just feels ready for makeup. I don't know how I feel about rose scent. Okay, so I feel like this is the, my favorite foundation combination that I've found in a while. The two products I'm gonna be using are Revlon Color Stay, which you guys know I, I'm in love with. I do have a pump on this. This is from Beauty MP. And then I've been mixing it in with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 105. I hadn't used this stuff in probably, I don't even know, like six months. I have a whole review or first impression or something on this, which I'll link down below. The finish of this stuff is incredible. It is too dark for me. And I think the 110 is like, like it matches my neck, but it makes me look too ghostly white. So I do like to mix in something a little bit darker. And this, these together are just like the most amazing combination. So I just mix about equal parts of this stuff on the back of my hand. 105 isn't that dark. Like I'm kind of surprised. This is definitely more of a full coverage combination. So if that's not what you're about, then don't do it. Too bright. To blend this in, I'm just using my Morph like giant ass kabuki brush. I don't even know what this is called. So you can just see that literally covered everything. What I really like about mixing in the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, this is definitely more of a satin finish and just makes the Revlon Color Stay look so much more natural and just sit better on your face. Revlon Color Stay is super long lasting, so that these together are just amazing. This is one of those foundation combos that I feel like looks better after a couple hours. Yeah, I just need to redirect it to the store that's close to my house. That lady had the most interesting combination of accents I've ever heard. Okay, anyways, I'm just mixing some more on the back of my hand. What was I even saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I got a lot. This primer like makes your face feel like a baby's butt. Trying out the middle part today. Whenever I see middle parts, I think of that one like murder case where the guy would only murder people with middle, middle parts. Am I the only one? Where are you, concealer? Okay, so for concealer, I've been obsessed with the NARS Creamy, what is this, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. This is amazing and I'll probably never buy another concealer. The shade is perfect, the consistency is perfect. I also mentioned this in my last shadow and schmooze. Let me know, by the way, if you guys like the two part kind of thing or you just like one longer video. It's easier for me to do two parts because editing on Shadow and Schmooze videos literally takes me about three or four hours just because there's so much footage to cut down. 
So if I can split that into two different videos, it's super helpful because A, you guys have two videos to watch, and B, I can split up editing time. But let me know. It's all about you guys. I just love how much this brightens up the under eye, and it just sets like amazing. Too bad, it's like $30. So like always, Physicians Formula Translucent Correcting Powder. I was using a giant like Eco Tools powder brush for this because I totally fucked up my e.l.f. one. I don't know what happened. Where is this? I think I threw it out. I've been having really weird brush luck lately. My computer was apparently touching one of my brushes and literally burnt the shit out of this one. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's literally slanted. How do I manage to do these things? So I've re-fallen in love with my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Powder in Porcelain. About a year ago, I use this stuff every day. And this was when my skin was like at its prime. I'm just at the point where I'm like trying to switch up everything I'm using because I don't know what's causing me to horribly break out. But I do feel like my skin is getting better. If you guys saw my, I think it was the secret life of YouTuber tag, that was like my peak. Like my skin, not my peak, what's the word? My skin was definitely at its worst in that video. And since then, as you guys can see, like just everything has gone way down. But anyways, this powder is amazing. It was the prettiest like natural finish, but it still gives you coverage. Yeah, like I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just like reflects the light beautifully. All right, so I just plopped the brows on. Like always, the products will be listed down below if you're curious what I use. So on a daily basis, like when I go to work, I do not contour my face because it's just not a necessary step for me at six in the morning. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to contour because I am going to do a whole eye look after this. So we gotta get some cheekbones going. Obviously gonna use my Holy Grail Sedona Lace Contour Highlight Palette. This thing is amazing. You guys have heard me talk about this like 10,000 times now, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. Where's my brush? So I'm just gonna mix these two shades together to create the perfect contour color. So I have also completely re-fallen in love with this. This is the Wet n Wild Blush in Pearlescent Pink. This is like a dollar or two from the drugstore. I just love how like easily this stuff blends in. And then to set everything, I've been loving the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender. Side note, I just remembered that I totally had a dream a couple nights ago that I won like 500 bottles of this. <laughs> uh, reality, I have one. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face and my hair apparently. Time to take a leopard robe off yet? Never. Okay, so this is my final face. If you want to see the look that I did on my eyes today, I will have that in a video coming up next, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. I'm just super happy that I finally found a routine that works for me and stays on all day and looks good and matches my skin tone. So I would highly recommend that you guys check out the products I mentioned in this video. Make sure you go check out Joe's channel because I'm sure he did an awesome tutorial. All of his info will be linked down below. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.